Angiosperms, the flowering plants began their appearance about 135 million years ago and have dominated the earth for the last 70 million years due to number of successful evolutionary changes. There are about 50,000 named species. Unlike the gymnosperms where the ovules are naked, in the angiosperms or flowering plants, the pollen grains and ovules are developed in specialized structures called flowers. In angiosperms, the seeds are enclosed in fruits. The angiosperms are an exceptionally large group of plants occurring in wide range of habitats. The seeds are enclosed in an ovary. Presence of flowers instead of cones. Flowers have developed number of adaptations to utilize wide variety of mechanisms for efficient dispersal of pollen grains. They have adapted to different habitats. So they are found all over the earth, some in fresh water and a few in salt water also. Sorts are found at an altitude of 6000 meters in the Himalayas. A few are found in Antarctica. The deserts bloom with flowering plants after a shower. Some like Zostera thrive in shallow seas. Well developed conducting tissue. Xylem contains vessels and phloem has companion cells. There are two major groups of angiosperms dicotyledon and monocotyledon. Dicotyledon, they have two cotyledons in the seed. The flowers bear five petals or in the multiple of five. They have tap root and the leaves have reticulate venation. Example, mustard, pea, gram plant, etc. Monocotyledon, they have one cotyledon in the seed. The flowers bear three petals or in multiple of three. They have fibrous root and the leaves show parallel venation. Example, rice, wheat. Grass The flower is a distinct reproductive structure of the angiosperms. The male sex organ in a flower is the stamen, while the female sex organ is the pistil or carpel. A complete flower has four parts. Sepals are colored outer parts. Petals have various functions. Most important being to help in pollination. Stamen is the male sex organ of a flower. Carpel or pistil is the female sex organ of a flower. A stamen has a slender filament with anther at its tip. The anthers after meiosis produce pollen grains. A carpel or pistil has an ovary that encloses one or more ovules. Within an ovule is present a highly reduced gametophyte termed embryo sac. Double fertilization. Since the process of fertilization occurs twice in the embryo sac, it is called double fertilization. It is a unique event of angiosperms. The zygote develops into an embryo with one or two cotyledons. The pen develops into endosperm which provides nourishment to the developing embryo. The synergids and antipodals degenerate after fertilization. Changes after fertilization the ovules develop into the seeds. The seed contains the embryo or the potential plant. During the formation of fruit, rest of the flower withers away. The ovary develops into the fruit. The ovary wall forms the fruit wall called pericarp. 